So, Bunny. Yes. Let us now talk about the case of the missing spoons. That was good, Maxwell. That, that was really good dramatic music. It's okay. It's okay. But before before we try and before I tell you where all of our spoons in the house have gone to, we need to talk about little Eleanor here. She is on my lap right now. Say hi. Hi. Oh, that, was a, that was a good hi. She's on my lap and she's like, she's happy to be on the podcast right now. Uh, my daughter, Eleanor, she is 16 months old. I love her. And with that being said, uh, let go of the phone. Hi. Yes, yes. Bunny says hi. Are we still on? She's yes. pressing button. Okay. okay. So Eleanor is 16 months old, and I love her. With that being said, she is a little shit. Okay. Let go of my podcast notes. No. I'm just being honest. Eleanor is uh, a crazy mad. No, you can't have that. Some She's of, getting in. Some of our listeners may have surmised that. Yeah, yeah. She she's she's flexing her power right now. Okay. She sees she can what she can do, what she can get away with. She's getting into things. She's opening stuff. She's destroying everything. She's yeah. a little terror. And she literally needs Yes, Bunny says hi. Bunny Bunny says hi to you, too. She literally needs to be watched 24-7 at all times. Because if you stop watching her for one second, she'll destroy something. Her latest thing that she's been doing, that little Eleanor has been doing, she's been opening the fridge and breaking all of our eggs. Oh. That's her new thing. Is it, So you have to keep an eye on her. Because at any second, she will open up the fridge and just whatever drinks are in there, she will take them out and just put them on the floor. And then she'll start getting uh, 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 leftovers and just yeah. opening them up and just dropping them on the floor. And, and eggs, just, just breaking all the eggs. We had we had two cartons, cartons well, you, of eggs. You, you know what you do about that, don't you? Uh, lock her in a cage. Close. You zip tie her hands behind her back, and you put her in a closet for about a week. You yeah, know? that's you want it when you when you're trying to take her out of the closet. You want to check and make sure she's got that like thousand mile stare. If she doesn't have it, put her back in the closet for like another week. Yeah, that's that's like seventies and eighties uh, uh, punishment right there. Yeah. What, Maxwell? What? Yes, I'm trying to get those away from her because she just tried to... Eleanor, close the fridge! You do not need to be an example right now, okay? <coughs> yes, Bunny says hi to you too, okay? Bunny says hi to you too. We had two cartons of eggs, and then after this afternoon, we have four eggs. Uh-huh. That's Eleanor. She will quickly destroy the entire house if you do not keep an eye on her. Really. Hey, I'm Eleanor. Look, I can get into this cabinet now. Oh, cool. I guess I'll just pull everything out of this cabinet and start breaking anything I can. <laughs> Eleanor, don't touch this, okay? Don't touch this. Okay, well, I won't. I totally won't. Until you get up from your seat, during which I will instantly start touching the thing and seeing if I can destroy it. <laughs> and at some point in time a number of months ago someone i don't remember who for all i know it was me but i don't think it was someone was being lazy and decided to teach eleanor to throw away things in the trash can uh-huh yeah no, no doubt a move to stop someone from having to get up and throw something away so Eleanor has developed a nasty habit of throwing away anything she can. <laughs> okay. So we now have to regularly go through our trash. <laughs> because she's literally just throwing shit in the trash. 
The other day, I was wandering around the house for like 15 minutes looking for her shoes. Uh, I found one, but then I couldn't find the other shoe. And then, oh, there you go. It's in the trash. She threw away her shoe. Have you have you tried putting the trash can up on like a counter or something? Uh, there really is no counter for it to go on. Yeah. The counters are reserved for a whole bunch of easily breakable things that she can't have more so than the trash. Anyway, um, yeah, in the trash. Her shoes, in the trash. The plate of food, a plate of food, in the trash. And, Maxwell, come here. The spoons! The spoons! <laughs> She's just been grabbing the spoons and throwing them in the trash. Like By the time we realized that she had done it, she had thrown away about 15 spoons. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So now I have to regularly sift through the trash looking for, okay, she threw away this plate, she threw away this bowl, and she threw away my uh, copy of Shrek 2. Oh. Which is a lot better than the original Shrek and all, all Shrek 3 and 4 is shit, but Oh look, Al threw away these DVDs. Jesus, Eleanor. Oh, oh, okay, those are Bella's. You need to take those off. She will get upset, okay? You have tied yourself. How did you tie yourself? This is like a freaking Gordian knot. You're 16 months old. How did you even do this? I don't, I'm trying to untangle you, okay? It's not my fault you tangled yourself. There. She's trying to... She's trying to show, like, oh, Daddy's right, I am a terror. Let me see what I can get into right now. Yeah. So, uh, thanks, Eleanor. Yeah, oh, hold on, what is she doing? Eleanor, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Crayons, okay. Don't eat them. <laughs> so that's the story. So that's the story of the case of the missing spoons. Dramatic music. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you, Maxwell. Dun, dun. In a related story, though, in yes. a related story, though, uh, Eleanor loves books. This is her new thing. She loves books, which is weird because uh, so many people have said, "Oh, you're such a great storyteller. I bet your kids love it when you're home." And I, and I say, "Yes, they love when Daddy's home." so that I can read them books is what I, I have to say to you and what you expect me to say. So that is what I am saying. Not going to tell you the truth. These kids did not care for me reading. These kids, <laughs> none of them cared to sit down and listen to me read a story. And apparently Eleanor is trying to make up for all of the other kids because she, she'll get a book. She'll get like, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. She'll get the book. And she'll bring it to me and she'll go, uh, 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 and start throwing a fit until you pick it up. And and when you pick up the book, she will instantly sit right next to you and just cuddle up because you're going to read this book to her. So you read the book to her, you read the book to her, and then when you're done reading the book, she will take the book from you and immediately wander the house looking for someone else to read it to her. <laughs> okay. So next thing you know, she leaves, and then like four minutes later, you hear Natasha in the other side of the house saying, I've already read that to you six times today! <laughs> I'm reading that book to you again! <laughs> so then Eleanor comes back with the book. Uh, 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 uh. But yeah, that's her thing. Sometimes she'll give you like three books and just, uh, uh, uh. Maybe teacher had a cave paint. Maybe you think you think that would help. It, it may be very th therapeutic for her because she does seem like she is in her her caveman period. Yeah. Color, color on the table. Color over there on the table. Color on the table. Color on the table. Color on the table. No, wait, color on the table. Over there, on the table. Here, here, here. Here's your paper. Color over there. Oh my god, you actually listen to me. 